If you watched my guide to Chongqing, then you'll know just how many amazing things there are to do in the city. We were lucky enough to spend a week here, which meant we could really delve deep into the city. But most people are just passing through and only spend a day or two. In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five things to do in the city so you can really maximize your time there. First of all, I would advise you to stay in the Jifengbei area of the city. This area is really central and you can access all of the main sites easily by metro. We stayed at the Eitor Hotel, which was nice, simple, and most importantly, in a great location. This area was one of my favorites, and even though there wasn't necessarily anything specific to see. When I go to a new city, I don't really like to go to the big tourist sites, but rather explore the local neighborhoods where you can catch glimpses of local life. And on the steps and back alleys of this neighborhood, you'll find plenty of interesting things to stop and observe. You also won't miss out on a tasty breakfast or steaming bowl of chamiana at any time of the day if you make this your base. Anyway, let's get stuck in to number five, public transport. It's hard to go to any city and not use the public transport systems, but here in Chongqing, the city's transit network is less of a convenience and more of an experience in itself. Because of Chongqing's interesting terrain, the transportation here is different to any city I've been to. The monorail, especially Line 2, feels like a roller coaster and offers stunning views of the river. There is even a famous station, Lizyba, that goes through a building. You can hop off and take a look as there's a viewing platform. Another form of transportation here is the Yangtze River Cableway, which, well, goes over the Yangtze River. It offers great views of the city, both in the day and at night. I was so impressed with the infrastructure in Chongqing that I even made a video about it. You can check it out to see more monorails, cable cars, escalators and elevators. Chongqing is a city of views, which is unsurprising considering how many levels are cut into the mountainside. No matter where you choose to get high, you will be impressed. But one of the best places to observe the city is from Erling Park which offers 360 degree panoramic views from the pagoda set in the middle of a beautiful tranquil park. What more could you ask for? We went in the day, but the park is open till late, so I'm pretty sure it would be amazing at night as well. Head to the nearby test bed too to grab a beer or some food after you've been. Speaking of night views, this is one of the things that Chongqing is most famous for. Chongqing literally is a tale of two cities, the day and the night. At night, the city transforms into a Blade Runner-esque city with futuristic neon light displays on every building. Head to the river to see the city in all of its glory. From Raffles City's glass viewing platform, you can look out or even under your feet to see some incredible views. But one of the most iconic buildings has to be Hong Yudong at night. Be careful though, this area can get super busy with people taking photos. A lesser known, but no less impressive location is the Huangjia Ping Graffiti Street. This street might not be for everyone, but for me, it was one of my favorite things to do. It's a little far out, but it was well worth the taxi ride. I love street art and I couldn't believe that there was a whole residential street that has been painted in huge murals. Taking a visit to the Jiao Kong Tea House really topped it off for me. I could have spent the whole day in there drinking tea with the locals. Nearby is a bookshop called Jungle, which is located on a set of disused train tracks and its owner is really interesting. These three activities could easily be done within a few daytime hours, leaving you the evening to experience the number one thing to do in the city. If you're already familiar with Chongqing, then you can probably already guess what's coming next. That is, of course, Hot Pot. Chongqing is famous for its numb and spicy Hot Pot, 
it is, after all, the city where this famous dish originates from. Hot pot is a staple here, and you can find it on pretty much every corner. You can't come to Chongqing without trying this famous dish. So there you have it, my top five things to do in the city. These activities can easily be incorporated into a weekend itinerary. It was hard to just break it down into five, so if you want to see everything Chongqing has to offer, then check out my bigger film. Chongqing wasn't just an interesting city, but the people there were super friendly. To me, that's the perfect mix. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you love to do in the city. I'll see you next time.